I know that there has been talk, and the governor has talked about a uh, rainy day fund. Um, my my gut instinct is I would prefer to see that refunded back to the taxpayers. Um, I, I believe, though, that if there are some triggers within the rainy day fund where if you do reach a certain level, some will be, you know, it will be returned back to the taxpayers, um, I, I would be okay with that. But again, um, the devil's in the details, and, and uh, uh, there's more information needed yet. Gentlemen from the 26th. I rise in support. I must admit that uh, back when I was campaigning, uh, about a little over a year ago, um, the first thing that uh, that I did was do some research. I'm a first time. I was a first time candidate, and uh, I knew the issues. I felt I knew the issues. Did a little bit more research, and uh, we all know what the main issues were: jobs, the economy, uh, creating a better business environment. Um, and and I also was aware of the fact that there were issues uh, with regard to uh, taking money out of segregated funds. I have to admit that I was surprised as I started doing doors that there was a significant amount of passion uh, within the 26th district. Um, I'm led to believe that as people went to fill up their gas tank, when people went to get their, reg their car registrations, uh, they knew exactly what was going on. The bottom line was, yes, they talked about jobs, and, and the priority was jobs, the economy, balancing the budget, and not spending more money uh, than we have. Uh, but without a doubt, one of the next issues was stop taking money from one fund to put into another. I happen to believe this, this speaks to credibility, to trust, and to integrity. I believe that uh, when we levy a tax or a fee for a specific, pers uh, for a specific purpose, uh, that the money that the people pay in should go uh, for that purpose. Um, I feel that uh, that we owe that to them, and in my opinion, we're kind of going back on what we said we would do. Anything else to me is unacceptable. In this case, a segregated fund like the transportation fund is used uh, to provide the funds for uh, improvements and, and maintenance of roads. Um, I'll speak only for the 26th district, but it is clearly evident that there is more work to be done. I think what we do, what we should do is we, we say what we do and we do what we say. The whys and the whos with regard to uh, why funds have been taken in the past is not the issue here. The issue is we need to fix it. We need to stop doing what has been done in the past and, and keep segregated funds uh, segregated. Last fall, there were 54 counties out of 72. Um, that supported this legislation uh, through referenda. And I think it's time that we finally step up to the bar and do what is right, and that is to keep segregated funds segregated. Thank you. Having worked with several members of the law enforcement community to craft this legislation, I'm proud to say that this bill also has received the support of the Wisconsin Department of Justice, as well as the Department of Corrections. In addition to several other organizations registering their support for this bill, I, have, has, I also have had extensive conversations with leaders from my local law enforcement agencies who have explained that this bill will be an asset to them in protecting citizens. And I, I spent the last four years uh, as a legislator here in the Capitol, and it was the best job I've ever had in my life. Um, a time came when I was struggling. I couldn't retain information that I read. And as you know, you need to read a lot of things and absorb a lot of things in this job. And little by little, it got worse and worse to the point where I couldn't do the job anymore. I believe that for me, this is my calling now. I will be involved in Alzheimer's work um, in any way that I can. And I just want to thank you for bringing these bills forward, and I hope everybody just goes right along with them. Thank you very much.